Hey everybody, welcome to another review. Um, first thing you might want to notice is that the video is longer than 10 minutes. You probably noticed that. That's because uh, I guess uh, this afternoon uh, I became a YouTube partner. They finally looked at my application. So now I can record longer videos, but I'm not going to go overboard either. I'm not going to have an hour video or anything like that because nobody wants to watch it. But anyway, uh, makes it a little easier on me. I can go a little slower and explain things better, especially when I'm demonstrating software or whatnot. So I got a request to check out um, the new Zone Alarm firewall. And because <clears throat> people have been requesting for a while to have me retest uh, Avira, I decided to make it kind of like a combination thing. So I have um, the newest zone alarm 9.2 installed and the newest Avira free fully updated um, nothing's been changed from the stock configuration I just installed them both and just ran them like they were I'll show you here that it is updated I got some, there you go, um, I got some links here, fairly fresh, so let's see what kind of damage we can do. Some of these are very low detection uh, links. Okay. Okay, looks like Zone Alarm is catching uh, wants that Paul.dll video plugin wants access to the internet. Now, I always let firewalls out. If a, if a malware wants access out, I always let it go out. Just in case it wants to download more things. <laughs> Looks like um, Avira completely missed that one. Looks like it missed that one too. Okay, it wants out again. Oh, whoops, I think I accidentally did that one twice. Okay, looks like we got something there. Two viruses. We will remove them. Looks like it's doing some kind of scan in the background, but it's kind of locked up.
Okay, I'm gonna keep going on. While that does whatever it's doing. Oh, looks like it caught something. Yes, it did. Okay. Once I X this out. I don't know if that one's working anymore. So let's try this one too. Uh, that one's definitely not working. Let's go back to that other one. Looks like it caught four things. Alright, so what I'm going to do now, I ran pretty much what I could run, is I'm going to restart, maybe get some of this junk out of the memory, and I'll be right back as it's restarting. Okay, so it's finally restarting here. It's uh, going pretty slowly. You can see the uh, little circles kind of stopping every now and then. See, uh, let's check out Process Explorer here. If I can ever get to it. Still getting that uh, run DLL error. You can see right here, right, uh, right here, definitely some nasty infections in here, right there, so, let's, let's kill some of these if I can, get them out of RAM so we can do a scan with, uh, Avira. Okay, so now I'm going to open up Avira and do a full system scan. We'll do the local drive and we'll scan it as administrator. Alright, so because this might actually take a while, I'm going to pause the vid video as it's scanning, and uh, I'll be back whenever it's done. I don't know how long it's going to take, but we'll see. So I'll see you then. Okay, so it finally finished scanning here, 
and it found um, four different things so we will put everything in a quarantine and I'm going to reboot and hopefully get rid of some of these annoying things so I will be back after it finishes rebooting okay so Windows is starting up but it's starting up all broken looking oh, okay seems to kinda of be back now Still waiting for it to start up here. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run CCleaner to get rid of any uh, leftover temp files. Doesn't look like everything's gone. See if there's any tasks that are causing that problem. It's kind of rather annoying. Okay, so I had to pause for a second because it was taking too long, but um, we got a couple of uh, different tasks that were created here that shouldn't be there, but um, we'll see if uh, Malwarebytes finds that. So I ran CCleaner, and uh, I'm going to install Malwarebytes right now and run a scan with that. So what I'm going to do is, uh, like I said, I don't want to drag these videos out too long. And because this is moving really slow now, I'm going to pause the video, and um, I'll be back after Malwarebytes finishes scanning, because I don't think you guys just want to sit here and watch a scan going on. That'd be just boring and really stupid and a waste of your time. So, like I said, I'll be right back. Okay, so finally Malwarebytes finished scanning here, and it found 14 things. So let's see what we got here. Okay, we got uh, adware, some registry keys, uh, spyware, trojan, uh, some more registry keys, a couple of those job files that I was talking about right there, and uh, let's see, uh, that's about it. So I'm going to remove all these things, and I'm going to restart, just because this run DLL thing is driving me up the wall. Hopefully this will fix it. And then um, I'll do a scan with Hitman Pro, like I normally do. So I'm going to be back after it finishes restarting. Okay, so computer's restarting now. Seems uh, a lot faster. Didn't have to wait five minutes for it to start up. So let's run a scan with Hitman Pro here and uh, see if it finds anything. I'm also going to be doing another review tonight with the new Zone Alarm Pro um, it, without a antivirus and the reason is because it's got this new DefenseNet deal where it uses uh, whoops, um, it uses um, community knowledge to um, find new threats so I'm going to see if that works any better and that's the reason why I'm gonna do it without um, 
an antivirus. Of course, normally you would use it with an antivirus. So let's see here if Hitman Pro finds anything else. Looks like that run DL thing is finally shut up. That's so annoying. Looks like we got a root kit. Now I know those two XJX things, those are malware. But for some odd reason, Hitman Pro didn't find them. Because I know those, those are malware. Those things came in with another piece of malware, so you can see how new these links are. Uh, even Hitman Pro didn't find them, and it uses like five engines. But it did find a couple of things that were missed here, which the most importantly is this root kit. Um, so you can kind of see that uh, at this point in time, I'm not really going to say anything about Zone Alarm, because this Zone Alarm is just a pure firewall. It doesn't do much of anything else, it's just a firewall. But Avira um, definitely didn't do that good. It uh, It's kind of a letdown. They used to be number one, but... Lately, they've just been suffering more and more. They haven't been doing good at all. So hopefully, hopefully they'll do something where they'll change that up, because um, they seem to be getting left behind. Everybody's doing all these different uh, zero-day scanners, uh, you know, different heuristic behavior blockers, HIPs, everything like that. Uh, they have a behavior blocker uh, in their uh, paid version, but I heard it doesn't do much. So hopefully they'll do something to get back where they used to be. So that's it on uh, this review. Uh, like I said, I'm going to do an, a Zone Alarm Pro review uh, using the same links just to kind of see how it did. All right, I'll uh, talk to everybody later, and take care.